Eyewitness News on WPRI 12 continues. Saving local farms, the Rhode Island dairy industry is facing its worst economic crisis in more than 20 years. Now, Senator Jack Reed is discussing new ways to aid the help of farmers and produce an abundance of dairy products. Eyewitness News reporter Stephen Schuler joins us now live with details on how a government program will help local farmers. Well, the economic downturn is costing Rhode Island's 18 family dairy farms about $100 per cow a month. Now a new national effort to increase prices paid for surplus milk will give the local dairy industry a much-needed boost. <laughs> Toasting with a glass of fresh milk, Rhode Island dairy farmers and Senator Jack Reed celebrate a federal initiative aimed to save the state's struggling industry. Uh, farmers are receiving about a dollar a gallon, and it's cost them about a dollar sixty-eight to... Uh, produce milk here in Rhode Island. Earlier this month, Senator Reed helped convince the USDA to boost federal payments to local farmers through buying excess milk in the form of non-fat dry milk, butter, and cheese. The federal government will store the products until they can be sold back into the market or donated to relief organizations and food banks. This will raise revenue for all farmers and keep them uh, in the business until the economy recovers, demand for milk increases, and price consequently goes up. Facing their worst economic crisis in 25 years, the $243 million revenue nationwide is expected to help keep local dairy producers in business. There won't be any farmers left in Rhode Island. We're going to lose them throughout the country if we can't do something to stabilize and increase the price. Now another way you can help contribute to Rhode Island's dairy industry is to buy locally produced milk, cheese and ice cream. It keeps money in the state and cuts down from pollution from shipping. I'm Stephen Schuler, Eyewitness News.